it's your boy Deep Photos. You know how it is today. I have a quick portrait retouch or beauty retouch, if you if you may. And I just want to go through my process in retouching and how fast it takes for me to retouch an image. And as you watch, I hope you learn and enjoy the process. So let's go into it and. We're gonna start with using the healing brush tool which I could just duplicate the layer and then just start taking out the pimple so you can fast forward this process if you wish but this is how I I take out blemishes and pimple and spots and yeah so basically you just want to start with this so you have a clean slate on the skin make sure you do a good work you need to spend time to do it well don't rush it the way i'm rushing right now it's because i'm used to the process <laughs> Touching, just fast forward the, the spot to remove our process, and now we're gonna go through. I mistakenly merged the, the layer, sorry guys. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just continue from here. So, my next the next step I'm gonna take is to go through the skin retouching process, and, and to do that, what I need right now is to decide. It should come to my frequent separation action and decide the, the radius I want to use for it but because I want to retain a lot of texture I'm just gonna start with 14 I'm going to start it at 14 and then gradually build it from there so I use the mixer brush tool I never ever use the, the lasso tool so these are my settings up here is this 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 it's usually is 30 30 30 30 30 you can try to play around with it and whatever value works for you but this is what i work with 30 all through so um usually i i try to to zoom out a little bit from the image and then start so um I'll use a black and white, create a black and white using the hue saturation, take out the saturation and then use the curves, create a curve like this, an S curve and then I merge these two layers together, where I group them together and call it age. So it's just gonna be it's just gonna serve as a visual aid for me to retouch the image and then I come to my low frequency layer and then yeah pick my brush tool you can increase and reduce the size just come in between where the lights and shadows are and then try to paint around there just to make the transition between light and shadow go even so this is not speed ramped but this is how I usually will retouch the skin. I just touch basically the, the parts that I feel needs retouching, need fixing rather. So um, this is what I do. So this side I feel is a bit dark around here. So I'll bring in the light from this point and yeah. Yeah, you see, just minimal touch and yeah here too it's dark bringing in light there there yeah and then i go into the body this touch trying to make transitions between light and shadow look good yeah there Just fix 
seen light and shadow transition between light and shadows as you can see it's just minimal for chase but yeah it's making the image look amazing already and you don't have to spend too much time on, on your image well you can spend more time the more time you spend on it better the retouching gets but this is how fast and easy it is for me to retouch to retouch an image I would like you guys to comment on what you would like me to work on, the process, what other process. So I tried to reduce the light here. I felt the light here was too much and it's making a nose look weird. So I pushed some shadows in it to, to soften the light. Before and after, before and after. Not doing much, not doing too much. And yeah, maybe I go under eyes here. Push up, my bad. On the low frequency, then push the highlights to the shadow to take out the eye bag from there. Here, so I really like the results I'm having. The next thing is I can still see strong textures around here, even on the nose and maybe around the face. I can decide to merge this first frequency separation. Just click on the uh, folder and then Command E or Control E, and then you merge it, and then you create another frequency separation while selected on that particular merge so I click on it my simple frequency separation and then decide on a lower value maybe maybe a six maybe a six there yeah, from a six I just work on the parts with stronger textures I can see and not every part of the image but just the ones with a stronger texture. Yeah. Okay. And then here, here. Here, here. Here, here. It and then maybe this skin over here and then here and yeah I think I'm good with this and skin is still looking natural so take out the age and then yes as you can see I fixed it then probably I can merge it down. This is the second frequency we did. But I feel I expanded the, the what's it called? The light around here, as you can see. So I'll just take back the light, the shadow, even the light a little, so that it's not so big. As you can see, it looks good so i can create my my dodging bone layer just create a new curves adjustment layer increase the brightness take this the mode blend mode to luminosity then invert it name it dodge d and then create another curves to bring it down change this to luminosity and then invert it, command I, control I, rename it to B, burn. And you can group this together, command G or control G. You can name it, 
Deutsche Born D and B. So open it and then start with the dodge to highlight and then I pick my normal brush to then take the flow to one maybe opacity around 80 and then just zoom in a little zoom in a little then put some highlight around here put some little highlight around here and then maybe around here and then maybe around here not too much around there and then take the nose remember i was trying to reduce the highlights on the nose here around here to reduce the size of the nose so you can see made it look better then i create the contour with a the burn then i just increase the brush size and just paint a little over here paint a little over here then here and here and here so you see before and after and yeah I'm good with that so maybe the lips if you want to make the lips look better come back to frequency separation last merge did and then create another frequency separation then maybe let's use the value of four between four to five and then pick a mixer brush tool and then and then paint paint the edge to help the transition I think I'm good and then I can merge it then merge all three black and white command E to merge them into one before and after before and after before and after and I can decide to to crop I can decide to crop pick my crop tool and then maybe crop I usually crop by 9 by 12 because I have a medium format now so I Usually like to crop 9 by 12. <laughs> yeah, you can decide your crop however you choose to crop it. Um, I think before we crop it, let's fix the, the hair. Uh, let's cancel the crop then. Go to the hair. Maybe create a duplicate of this layer and then just go to liquify. Go to the profile under filters and yeah, zoom a bit over here and then yeah, just play with it. I'm using this tool, this top tool, the drag, I think, forward whack tool. Can decide to reduce the size and, and create the curves. Try to play around with this tool so you get used to it, so you can create things that you envision in your mind. And yeah, good. Try to make it round. I think I'm, I'm okay with the hair now. <laughs> yep. Okay, with the hair now I can decide to crop. Pick my crop tool and then, yeah. 
I think. Yeah, it's here. Work. And I see what I Yeah, and and I think I'm good. Before and after, 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 before and after. On second thought, I think I want to bring the highlights on the nose back. So around here, so just paint back with a white brush on the Dutch. And oh, sorry. <sighs> I used the wrong brush, so it wasn't working, but now it should work. Yes, I think I like it now. Yep, the nose look good. I think everything looks good at the image now, and we are okay. There is one last thing I do, I usually add noise to the image, my image, and especially for beauty. So I'll go back to this. Let me just merge it to one and then create a frequency rather. Let's say a frequency of six, radius of six. Apply then click on the high frequency. I go on the high frequency, then go to noise. Add noise on the filter. Noise then. Yeah. I just add a noise of 1.5 to it and maybe reduce the noise command shift F. You can decide to reduce the intensity. Uh, yeah, this happens when you use a filter, you can dial down the effects of what you apply. So, yeah. Then we have this nice looking texture, kinda. You can decide to take out all this skin, pause, pause. You can, yeah, you can, you can do that if you like. If you have the time. Well, yeah. I think I'm okay with this image and you can maybe whiten the eyes a little, merge this down and then to whiten the eyes what I do is I create a vibrance, take down the vibrance, take down saturation and then invert it, command I, control I, then create uh, curves adjustment increase the brightness a little and then and then clip it to the vibrant layer if we click here it's gonna clip to the layer underneath it yeah then I come over here on the vibrant my brush as opacity 100 and maybe flow of 20 then I paint I paint in the eye just to make the eyes a bit white not so Yes, there and yep, I'm good with the picture. Yeah, we good. Thank you guys for tuning in to my YouTube channel. Just let me know what you'd like me to work on next time content you would like to see on my page. Do have a great day. It's a point.